Hey everybody, Scal Crafty here again. Uh, today we're going to try and put uh, Lee's grandfather's 100 year old C clamp back in service. It's a little bent up, so let's see what we can do. Okay, today's uh, project, one of the viewers of the channel, Lee, who I probably ran into before. Both Lee and I collect glass insulators, and this is his collection. We probably ran into each other at one of the shows. So Lee has this uh, clamp that I believe was his uh, grandfather's, and uh, he finally got a hold of it. The problem is he wants to restore it. Uh, the thing is that it, it has a problem. And when I tell you this clamp is a big one, even though they call it a 12-inch clamp, it's, uh, it's 20 inches, you know, in length overall. And it is a Stearns & Company. Uh, you can see the lettering there, Stearns & Company from Syracuse, New York. But like a lot of these uh, longer clamps, uh, the problem is that eventually through the years, they get bent. And you can see one here. This thing is bent. And um, now I, I, he wants to do the restoration, but he just wants to get this started by you know straightening this out because no sense of restoring something that you don't even know if he could fix. The problem is a lot of times with these clamps, this is a very common problem. Now you have to see where the bend is. Now see, we have multiple bends here. We have one, the shaft is bent here, the threaded shaft. And secondly, this part back here is bent. So we're gonna try and address that. Uh, first, we're gonna try and address the back part here, and then we'll address the shaft part to fix that. Okay, here's where the big wrenches come in handy. Here we have a nice 18 inch crescent wrench, have another wrench here. We're gonna couple two of them on here. Uh, we have it in great grandpa's vise. I'm going to put one wrench over here on, on the bottom side here and the other wrench, uh, the other wrench on top. We'll get this settled in, tightened up. Now we have two hands that we could put on here and twist it. And we're going to watch the top here as we twist it. And hopefully that'll bend. You can see it bending in there. We got to go a little bit past it and bend it nice and easy. And you can see we straightened that right out. Okay, now, Lee, I know you want to restore yourself, but uh, I had to uh, clean up the threads because uh, otherwise it makes it difficult to, uh, to see what, exactly what's going on. So here we have a straight edge. We're going to put it up against the threads. And you can see when we turn it, you can see we've got a bunch of different bends going on here. And this is where you have to take it a couple inches at a time to try and straighten it out. Um, if I hold it like this, you can't, you can't tell because until you spin it, to see where it is and that's where it gets difficult you have to run it out and it's almost you know you're always playing catch up you bend it a little bit this way a little bit that way we're going to find out where the bends are take it to the dake and, and try and straighten it okay out. we're over at our favorite dake and uh what we have here now is we placed it between two blocks of wood we're going to put the ram under the high spot and i marked the high spot with a piece of tape and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right underneath. And you can move these blocks back and forth, the wooden blocks, to try and uh, get the proper, uh, just about where you want the, the right pressure to straighten it out. We're going to press this down a little bit. Once we make contact, like here, then we're going to look to the side here. And I'll try and get you just a little bit lower so maybe you could see it like I'm seeing it now. I'm going to go to the side here. And we're going to try and see that's a big bend right there. Bend it down just a little bit. Uh, we got about a ton of pressure, not a lot. We'll bring this back up and then we'll check it out. And then this is what we do back and forth until we straighten it out. Okay, we're starting to get close. Now, what we do is we take it back, put something light behind the threads. And when you rest the, the straight edge on here, you could see what happens. We got a high spot here towards the right. And then when we turn it a little bit, here we'll turn it. Uh, and you can see here where we are, hold it up to the edge. This side's not too bad, but we got a little dip here. So that means we got to put some pressure here. And, and this is how you do it. You got to keep chasing it back and forth, looking for the high spots, the low spots. We got over here, we got a little bit of a bow. And then taking it back to the dake, straightening it out until we get it uh, pretty much okay, straight. We're pretty close. And you can see here as we're spinning this, you're always going to have a little bit of slop in here because it's not a, you know, a precision fit. But you can see as we're moving it in here, you want this cup to basically stay straight. 
And uh, as we move this down, you can see that again, there's going to be wobble because you can't get it in there. But as we move it down, what we'll do is as I spin it, you can see it looks pretty straight. And I'm going to lock it up onto a piece of wood at the end. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to lock up a piece of wood in here, just uh, uh, where the corners are close to the top. And we're going to put it, line it up, tighten it pretty tight, and then look down the edge like this to see if it's straight. Okay, the final test to see if it's straight or not is once it's clamped into something, uh, look down it like this. You can see here. You see how when we look down, uh, we're pretty much lined up straight, and then we'll turn it around this way. And you can see what I'm talking about as far as how it lines up nice and straight. So we straightened this out. Now Lee can do the uh, the fit and finish and on And that's here. about the straight as we can get it for these old clamps. So uh, now Lee can have the fun of uh, restoring this. Digging out the gunk and everything and uh, making it like nice, uh, like new. And uh, this is it. This is the uh, straightening out of this 12-inch uh, uh, Stearns and Company from Syracuse, New York. Uh, 12 inch clamp. This thing is a very old clamp. And anyway, Lee, I hope you enjoy restoring it and hopefully you'll send the picture so we can show everybody how it turned out. Thanks very much for tuning in. Take care and have a nice day.